Instana team in IBM ISL. Today, I am going to be showing you how you can use Instana to monitor your OpenStack sensor. Let's go through what we will be seeing in the video today. We will start with what OpenStack even is and the OpenStack Instana integration architecture. Then we will see the current metrics that you can monitor using Instana and further understand the configuration required to discover the OpenStack sensor by the agent. After that, we will see a quick demo of the current implementation on the Instana dashboard. So, what is OpenStack? OpenStack is an open source software for building clouds. It is a programmable infrastructure that allows users to have one platform for virtual machines, containers, and bare metal. OpenStack has multiple projects under its name. The projects cover foundational elements like compute, networking, and storage, but they also span from telemetry to orchestration to container APIs. OpenStack controls a large pool of compute, storage, and networking resources throughout the data center. It manages and provisions through APIs with a common authentication mechanism and also provides a dashboard for administrators to provision resources through the web interface itself. OpenStack can be broken up into various services. As you can see, we display the list of services that OpenStack offers. These services are helpful to plug and play the components depending upon your needs. We currently use two services, which are the compute and the identity services. These services communicate through APIs. And we, in Instana, will use the same APIs to get information and data from the OpenStack. Now let's take a look at the OpenStack Instana integration architecture. The Instana agent works remotely. And based on the configuration that we provide, the Instana agent will then discover and enable the OpenStack sensor. The OpenStack sensor will then connect to the OpenStack through the REST API. Currently, we allow two regions per OpenStack and multiple, these OpenStacks can have multiple hypervisors enabled in it. Currently, OpenStack sensor has the following components that we can monitor. The first being hypervisor. A hypervisor, also known as the virtual machine monitor, is a software layer that allows multiple operating systems to share a single hardware host. OpenStack supports multiple hypervisors, giving the user flexibility in choosing the best one for their specific use case. In a hypervisor, we right now can monitor the CPU, memory, and storage metrics for any hypervisor. The second component is the compute servers. These are the fundamental units of compute resources that users can launch and manage within an OpenStack cloud environment. In compute servers, we monitor the CPU, memory, NIC details, etc. as shown in the slide and we will also be showing in our demo later. The other two components would be the flavors and the images. Flavors are nothing but the predefined templates that define the compute, memory and storage configuration for instances. They serve as a way for users to quickly select the resources they need for their workloads without specifying each individual parameter. Images in OpenStack are pre-configured templates used to create instances, providing a base OS and software setup for the user. Now, here you can see the configuration required to discover OpenStack remote sensor. We will have to provide the host name, port, project, and the user details for the OpenStack we want to monitor. We would also need the poll rate, which defines how often we would like to pull the data. Here, for example, the pull rate is 15. So every 15 seconds, it will be pulling the data. Now let's go through the demo of the Instana dashboard monitoring OpenStack. The demo now. This is the Instana homepage. OpenStack would be present under the platforms menu item. Once you click on the OpenStack, it will display a list of regions. Currently, we have only configured one region, which is why you can see only one uh, row here. Uh, clicking on the region will take you to the region dashboard. The first tab in the region dashboard are the hypervisors. This displays a list of hypervisors for that particular region. Here you can see an overview of each hypervisor present. In the overview, you will be able to see the CPU, memory, storage, the status, etc. for all of them. If you want to dig in further 
in any of the hypervisors you can just click on one of them and this will take you to the hypervisor dashboard the hyper uh, hypervisor dashboard will display a list of kpis with various informations regarding that hypervisor it will also display the cpu memory storage and instance count in a time series graph you can hover over this to see the values you can also see the current workload here going back to the region dashboard the second tab is the compute instances this will display the list of compute instances and the overview for each one of them as you can see we can see the cpu memory the flavor name the availability zone and the status for each of them you can here as you can see the status could be error active etc let's go to one of the compute instances uh let's go with the one which is in the active state clicking on this will take you to the compute instance dashboard this again shows a little information about that compute instance like the availability zone the flavor name the uptime etc and also uh the cpu and memory resources as a time series graph you also have more information like the disk information the instance usage and the network interface controllers in a table format going back to the third tab which is the flavors tab in the flavors tab you can see this table with the flavor details which contains the flavor id the flavor name the memory root disk v uh, vcpu etc for each flavor the fourth tab is the images tab the images tab will have a table for the image details here you can see the Im image id when that image was created when it was last updated etc that's it from my side thank you so much for viewing the video